Hey, hello and welcome to Star Citizen, a newbie's guide. So, uh, we are currently in Port Olisar. Now, I highly recommend you don't set your starting zone here, and you only visit here when you have to refuel or rearm or something, and make sure you've got nothing precious or worth, you know, money's worth in your inventory, in your vehicle yourself, because this is the only port I've encountered griefing so far in the game. I've been playing it, I played it before a year ago or something, but recently I've been playing it just for over a week. Um, and this is the worst one. Um, so, so the basic intention of this guide is to show you, you know how to move around the ship, you know how to move around the station. I mean, you know how to, you know, buy stuff. You know all that stuff. And now you want to get out and start making stuff. Now, my my best uh, guide for that is to do loot runs, and that's why we're in Port Alasar. Uh, so if I press F2, so we're in Crusader system at the moment. There's Port Alasar there. Now within this system, there's probably more, but there's two I know of that you can get loot, and that is in Selen here. There is a place uh, called the Gillette Family Farms, right there. And then in Daymar, um, I forget what this is called, but it's, um, let's see. forget what it's called now but it's it's bountiful harvest there it is so bountiful harvest uh, hyd hydroponics so that's another place you can go and so these two places will have buildings where you can loot run um, and I'll show you what that is so at the moment I'm in my basic starter stuff I do have some arm armor on but I can, I can take that off just to show you so that's your basic starter I'm gonna go grab my ship I have an adventure type Welcome. And I'll go through the quickly the. So I'm going to retrieve my ship. So you hold down F and left click to interact with objects. A01. So uh, we're going to go here. And A01 is this way. So we go through the cycle. The airlock, whatever you call it. So again, hold down F, left click, interact. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna kind of base this guide on the fact you know all that stuff. So we're going to one, so we need to go this way. Hello, random guy. And then we're gonna go up and get our ship. I'm not gonna spend too much time talking here because this is Port Alisar. Can be a bit dodgy, so I'm gonna press F and enter ship. You'll see more of the ship as I do the loot runs, so. So, first things first, I'm going to press or, or to ready the ship, and then I'm going to press Y, because I've got a bug where I'm drifting. You see where I'm kind of slowly moving across the screen, I want to make sure I don't have that when I'm flying, so... I'm going to jump out and jump back in, fix it. Here we go, press or. Okay, now I'm going to press F1 for Moby Glass, go down to the cog, and I'm going to click Auto and Auto to refill my Quantum Fuel and Repair. And once they say no service required, here we go, press F1, and I'm going to put my spool to max, my lights on, and I'm going to take off. As soon as I've cleared any obstructions, full power to max thrusters, get out. Here we go, so we've got some distance now. Please visit again. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the first loot zone, which is Selen. it up. We're going to press B to get our quantum drive spoolers going. And as soon as the one on the left and the top has gone to 100, we're going to hold down B. And head to sell. And the landing gear is automatically retracted lucky enough, otherwise it would rip the ship apart. So once we get to sell, we're going to look for Gillette Family Farms. I believe it's down here somewhere. 
So once you quantum jump, you have to wait for the system to cool down. over this, wait for the calibration to finish. I'm going to hold down B, go to the family farm. Now again, I'm basing this tutorial more so on kind of, you know, you know the basics of how to fly, how to quantum jump, how to do all that stuff. It's more so the guide on what to do to get some basic weapons and armor um, when you start. And kind of, you know, a few tips and tri tricks along the way. So tip number one, once you get close and you, you jump out quantum warp here, quantum travel, keep saying warp travel, Star Trek head. So once you get out of quantum travel, I always level with the ground and keep my nose above. Now the key thing here is, is keep my nose above, because on the right there you'll see there's a altitude indicator. And, and that basic wording just means I'm not aligned to the planet, but I don't want to be aligned. I'm just using it as a kind of rough guide to get me there. So as I get to just under 10k away, I'm going to bring the speed down to about half. I can see there's somebody at you that farms, so now it becomes a decision whether I want to risk. Is it going to be a nice person or is it going to be a troll who's going to shoot me? Let's go ahead and have a look and see what ship they've got. If it's the same as this, I'm not too worried, but if it's something bigger, that could be a worry. You have two options here, you can always just go, well I'll just head to Daymar and go to the other one. Or you can, you know, in this ship you can log out, so you can go to the bed and log out, so you can do that. Let's see what ship they have. And that looks like a Cuddy, Cuddy Black. That's That would probably kill this ship, but let's, let's just go down and see what happens. Press N to bring gear out. sure my gear are all touching down. They are. And I'm going to press I, turn off my engines. And then I'm going to jump out and see what happens. He might shoot me straight out. I don't know. He might shoot me in from a ship. No idea. But I've got no weapons on me. So... ship dog. I think it's called a cutty, that's the one I'm going to get next, it's called a cutty black or uh, friendly coming in. Friendly. No, don't have a gun, don't have a weapon. So, you see that red box over there? I don't want to loot it because if someone's in here. Okay. Just gonna see are they here. Okay, they don't seem to be. So, I'm gonna start looting. So. So you see these boxes, and you'll see. Oh, that's nice. That's a, that's a decent backpack. It's quite nice. Gonna put all this stuff in here. So this is what we're here for. These crates that give you this stuff. been looted so maybe the guy died or something run out of food or can we 
check that one's too small. So, no, it looks like it's just been looted, so there's not much here. But we did get a bit, so... So we're gonna head back out. Oh, he's gone. Okay. This time I'm going to go around to the back. Now I'm going to move, I'm going to press I and move everything from I had in my local into my ship because I want to transport it to station to put it in my station. everything and then we're going to head back up to the ship I'm going to power on I'm going to put power to maximum and I'm going to hold space So, now becomes the kind of risk versus reward factor. Um, I probably have enough quantum to get back to New Babbage. Um, actually, I'll just check that. This is kind of where I consider my base. Uh, yeah, I do. Okay, we'll do that. So I'm going to head back to New Babbage and put my stuff in. The reason why I head back all this way is, like I said, Port Dolisar, you know, stuff. You can have you can do two or three loot ones in your ship. Um, you know, head back to Port Dolisar and before you can even dock, it's blown up and you lose everything. So I just kind of think, you know, for the risk of losing everything um, versus the extra time it's going to take to go back to New Babbage, it's worth it. So. So you can press F12 to turn chat on and off, and you will find that most chat is extremely helpful. And if you ask a question politely and nicely, you will get a response. Um, because you have to understand, you know, people who are playing the game need more people to play the game. So nobody's interested in, um, you know, people being killed and saying, well, that's it, I'm finished with this game. So people are generally extremely very helpful, I find. And in cases, the only, the only time you look at hassle and chat is if you beg. So if you say, you know, could somebody send me money? I need to. I want to try this ship. All that kind of stuff. You would basically be put on ignore by most people in the game because it's you know it's nonsense. Go out and make some money. The whole point of the game is to make money. Um, whether that be mining, deliveries, mercenary, bounty hunter, loot runs. Because you can actually sell the stuff I just got there. You can sell that stuff at a station. When you go to the right shop. So. Whatever way you make money, that's the whole aim of the game, is to make money, upgrade your ship, buy an extra ship, whatever you want to do, um, till you, you know, you have a multi crewed ship with two or three friends, um, you know, doing the flying, navigating, shooting, um, and, yeah, so, you know, it's, it's, that's the whole point of going in the bag and we'll just end up with people thinking you're just, you know, you're not interested in, in Maryland are playing the game, you just want to try out the big ships. You know, you can always feel free to ask somebody, can you, you know, have a go on their ship? If you, you know, if you've been talking to them, you get on with them, that's perfectly fine, I've seen that being done. But if you go in there begging for money because you want to try a ship, etc., people will just get annoyed with that extremely quickly, so. Otherwise, extremely helpful. I've asked tons of questions in chat, and I have to say, 100% of the time, I've gotten, you know, an accurate answer. Um, and like I said, you know, when I, w I, I was actually at Gillette Farms there when someone destroyed my ship, and I mentioned it in chat, and the guy came and picked me up. So, you know, 
people 99% of the time I find are friends. Once you've done the loot runs a couple of times, um, you can then start, which I think are the best money makers, but they're a little on the dodgy side, is the bunker missions, the security missions. So they will have you go to a moon like Selen, um, go to a bunker, and then you go, you can take the lift down, and there will be security there. Um, you have to help them clear the whole thing. It, it gives you a lot of money. Um, you get armor, you get loot chests and all down there as well. So the main reason for doing loot runs is to get just some guns, some ammo, some backpacks, some, you know, stuff like that, so, and it's a good way of kind of learning how to navigate around the world, um, learning how to fly our ship, because there's a difference between flying our ship in space and trying to land on a, on a moon or a planet, um, like, you, like you saw there, if I keep my speed up too high, um, and I let go of the controls, it will keep going, it'll be slower, it'll slow down slowly, but, it, you know, it will keep going, so if you're heading towards the moon, thinking I'll vertically go down, you'll just crash and I've done it seven or eight times before I you know learned how to do it correctly so keep your if you want to go fast keep your nose above the horizon at least that way you won't plummet into the deck if you lag, lag or disconnect um, and then bring your speed right down to the final landing and use L L is the light on your ship T is the light on your helmet um, and use them when you're looting and stuff so you don't miss any chests now this stuff is in my inventory of my ship, so once I get to the Babbage, um, all I have to do as soon as I land is jump into the back of this, this ship, press I, transfer it over. And then the great thing is I have my kind of uh, reset point set to Babbage, so new Babbage, so if I die that's where I go, and so all I have to do then is drag out the, the, out the, you know, the, the dress gun you start in, drag in the armor I want, the weapons I want, the ammo I want, and the backpacks, etc., and then you're ready to go. So that that's why I do loot runs, is because it means if I die, I don't have to go around, you know, buy an armor. It's exp very expensive armor. Armor and weapons are very expensive, so, you know, 2 or 3k each, you might think that's not much, but we can try to save for a ship. That's, that's a hell of a lot every time you die. So loot runs are great in that regard, that you can, um, you know, you can make... Get, get the stuff you need, armor, armor, weapons, as I said, medic stuff. You can get the multi-tool with the transporter on it, the, the laser transporter, mining stuff, you know, all attachments, all that kind of stuff. So, good way to start, good way to learn how to navigate around the world. Um, and to, you know, land and dock at, ch at stations, and then, you know, how to transport your goods. Obviously, it's different for physical cargo. So... This is kind of virtual cargo in regards to, you know, it's an item you're dragging left click right, but there is cargo in the game that actually takes up physical slots in your in the back of your ship. Um, I think it's called box missions at the moment, they're called. So, But there is commodity, I don't know how the commodities works. If, if, if you like even online trading, it's that kind of thing, where you can grab an amount of commodity at one place, bring it to the other to sell it for more. Uh, obviously involves risks with pirates and stuff like that, so... They just brought in actually um, an interdictor. I think it's I don't know if it's in the game yet or it's on the PTU. But so basically, like Eve, you know, if you warp to location, it'll pull you out of warp. So as I'm warping now, I can hold down B to stop this quantum travel, um, and then I can just turn my ship and warp to somewhere else, and then warp into my Grotech if I had you know something expensive on my ship. So there's ways you can kind of go around. There's ways you can kind of, you know, like Eve, you know, things you can do to avoid being you know, warpable or interdicted or whatever it might be. And then there's EMP ships and all available. So if you're into EMP warfare, there's, there's a website, Urkel, I think it's called, where you can min max your ship for that kind of stuff. I wouldn't bother doing that till you're out of a starter ship. That's my personal opinion. It's not worth to upgrade your weapons, yeah, but. Everything else can wait. So we're heading back to New Babbage. Um, 
I actually want to look into upgrading my weapons, so that's something I might do once I'm back here as the next video or something. We're gonna come into Microtech. And we're gonna head to New Babbage. New Babbage can be laggy, but generally speaking, I think eight times out of ten I've managed to land there, no issues. And it's an armistice zone. Armistice zone. Jesus, I can't see the word. Armistice zone. Armistice zone, whatever you want to call it. You can't shoot, basically. So, pretty safe once you get into near New Babbage. You see under Microtech there, by the way, it says win out two. That means steps to get to your destination, so. Quantum travel. Complete. Wait for the quantum thing to reset. See the cool down there. Okay, new Babbage. Now we're ready to go. I would highly suggest, if, if you're interested in the game at all, go and have a look at other videos of people playing it with, you know, proper graphics and all that kind of stuff set up with no lag and no FPS. Um, mine is set pretty medium because I tried to record in full quality and just wasn't wasn't working so so same thing applies here to new babbage now i know from just previous experience coming here that i'm you're actually looking for the port not the new babbage itself so i'm going to get close to it with full weapons full weapons full uh, speed and then, and then you're looking for the spaceport because you can't actually land a new babbage so See where they go, look. How slow it takes to... Yep. So I'm going to contact ATC. So I'm going to bring the speed down. It's just taking way too long. Uh, I think the spaceport is here. Yes, it is. So I'm going to start heading that way. I've already assigned the landing base, so I'm just going to wait till I get close. And if I can't see it, I'll try again. Press N to bring your landing gear down now. I'm gonna start pressing control to bring my ship down. So I'm gonna press ATC again to relocate the pad. Request is already been granted. And then I'm going to press B to turn off my quantum travel. I'm going to have faith that it's. that it will show up. It will leave me in the lurch. That's another ship, that's not it. Slow down and stop here in a minute if it doesn't show up. Here we go. <laughs> Eventually. So, a circle with a triangle facing down means that's your landing area. Now, I don't know whether this is from above or in through the dock. Looks like it's in through the dock. I'm going to put my speed right back. Just going to double check. Barely on. So again, speed is the key thing here. This is not like it's open. Oh, it is. Okay. speed even more down. Level it up. I reckon about there. And then control down. Here we go. And 
fucking engines off. Warning. You are blocking an active just ignore lane. that because it's okay just to land. So first thing we're going to do is press Y to get out, hold down Y to get off our ship. I'm gonna press I. And I'm gonna take the stuff that's in my ship and put it into local. Which will be saved. Don't need a missiles in the way. I had missiles with me, did I? Some very nice weapons there. Uh Karner rifle is quite good. Um why do I keep picking up missiles? I'll change to vehicles. No. There we go. Uh, it doesn't matter where you put them in, they'll go to the correct filter space. So you've got attachments there as well, by the way, so there you've got a 8x scope. Apparently sniping's really good, I haven't tried it yet. Right, so that's everything saved. Um, so now if I want something from local, I just have to go in and I go, okay, I want armor. There's a backpack there. That That's... Um, Quite a good backpack, I think. I think that's around one and a half thousand or something to buy one, so that's quite a money saver having that there. Of all the different kind of helmets, medium, there's, there's different kinds of armor, heavy armor, medium armor, for depending on what you're doing, um, where you're going. So under suits there, a few bits of clothing I picked up, including a medical gown that I had on. There's my weapons list, which is getting quite, quite long now. Um, bit of food, a bit of water there in case I get low. My ammo. Now these green things here are called the Paramed Refill, they basically refill the guns. Uh, they refill these things here, the medic things, so. So yeah, armor, clothing, weapons, all the kind of stuff there, and now it's safe. Now no matter what, even if I die right now, it's still safe, so. I'll show you a bit of new Babbage before we finish. So this is the Avenger Titan. It's kind of it kind of looks like a shuttle, I think, a space shuttle. Uh, quite a decent ship. I have this has booked out of me non-stop. So basically, here there should be a gimbal and a mantis, but for some reason I have it equipped. It doesn't show. So here I have my repeaters. Uh, the missiles are somewhere else. Missiles there. Yeah no missiles on them so they're empty. So yeah, this is it. Quite a decent ship. I'm going to the Cutlass Black next. So, I'm going to head down to security. I'm going to head down to... Uh, I'll show you actually where you can sell it. If you want to sell this stuff, probably a good step would be to show you where to sell this kind of stuff. But, the kind of main goal of this is to just show you how much is involved with Star Citizen. Um, it's come a long, long way. I'm going to store my ship now while I'm here. Welcome to the ASOP Vehicle Retrieval System. There we go, store. Here we go, now stored. Please visit us again. So, once you get here, Okay, once you get to New Babbage and you land your ship, come down and pull it away. You're looking for the metro. Okay, there's, there, trust me, there's, there's nothing much here. The ship rentals is there, that kind of stuff. But you need to go to the metro. That's where you need to go to get to. Look at that. I mean... Wow. Probably looks crap on your screen, on the video, but... <coughs> when you've got graphics turned up and resolution up. Quite amazing. So, we are heading to the transit now to get to the commons. So we're going to exit the terminal and go to the metro station. Metro loop. So now you come to the signs here, oh, the ship's in, just leaving, great. So on the right here is the commons, um, and then on the left is the Spire Grand. 
we need the commons, so we're gonna try and make this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. So, um, just the time. So, we're gonna take this to go to the commons. Now, the commons has the shop that we want. So, if you want to sell weapons, um, or the stuff you've got from your loot runs, I'll show you where you can sell that. You know, I, I would advise saving them. Because, you know, you're, you're going to be on a mission and die, and having that stuff in local, it's gonna mean you can just jump back on and off you go. Whereas if you sell stuff, I mean, I tend to sell the sniper rifles because I'm not really good at sniping, so, um, you know, you can do that kind of thing. If you're into SMGs, just sell the rest. If you're into, you know, sniper rifles, just sell the rest, so. But if you're looking for a bit of start of money, maybe to upgrade one of your weapons on your ship, you know, selling them is fine. I mean, look at that. No loading screen. Nothing. And these graphics are absolutely piss poor compared to having everything maximized. Which if I did, my game would crash or the video would just stop recording, so. So, we're gonna head out of the metro loop now and head to the commons. You learn this stations, really and truly you do. You learn the stations as you go. Took me ages when I first first few days. But the signs are pretty good, you know. Follow the signs and you'll be fine. So we're looking for the plaza. So if you come to the plaza here, you'll see on the left is two signs for center mass and Schumann Interstellar. Now center mass is where you buy your weapon upgrades for your ship and Schubin is where you can buy armor and stuff for yourself. Um, I forget what Amiga does, but anyway, these are the two important ones, and the one up here on the right is where you can sell your guns. So, I'm going to use this terminal here. So we go to sell, and set the source to new Babbage, and you can see all the stuff I have. So what you can do is you can say, well, you know, some of the stuff is worthless, and you'll see one of them there. See there, one six for a sniper rifle? So I'm going to sell that. So, sell. So there you go. So you can go through the list of stuff that you have, and you can say, well, I want to keep that, or I want to get rid of that. Now again, I'd sell the sniper rifles, and there alone, you know, you might say, well, it's not much, but there alone is 3,000 AUC, and, you know, that's maybe a quarter of your way to your first weapon upgrade, so selling that stuff can be worth a lot. Um, and then you can sell, you can sell everything and anything if you want, if you don't want to keep stuff, um, or if you have too many of something. There's another sniper rifle and another one, another 3k. So, do you get what I'm saying? It's 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 great for you know selling that stuff. Now, one thing I would never sell ever is backpacks. Backpacks, decent armor. Um, I wouldn't sell like the armor here. Um, so that's it. Now, if you want to buy stuff, I always find a hander here. If I want a backpack, for example, I'll just type in back, and you'll see that one there. I was talking about the Mac, the the rucksack one that goes for 1.3. This one here is one I'm thinking of for 1.9. So this is the easiest way to find stuff. Just type it in. If you don't know exactly what you're looking for, choose subcategory. Let's say undersuits. And there you can see they're about a thousand each. Or you can go armor. Now, to have a backpack on, you need to have this. You need to have one of these uh, chest armors. We're going to call them on. It doesn't have to be medium. can be light. But you need one of them to attach a backpack. Now, they, they get more expensive as far as I can see. Here's one seven. So we'll buy this one. So, so for example, let's pull out of that. So, for example, at the moment I have this on. Okay, now if I try to put, let's say, a weapon, right? I could put one on my back, and then if I want to carry more than one round of ammo, I have nowhere to put it. So there's literally nowhere to put anything now. If I take the gun off instead, and go to the armor I just bought, put that on, and then put on the backpack. Now I have a backpack, and I can also put on, so let's say you're doing a bunker mission or something. So now you can also put on a weapon here, and a weapon here. No, I just did the same one twice, okay, here. There you go. So now you can carry two weapons, and now inside your backpack here, 
Now if you go, you can put your stuff straight in there, for example, if you want to carry extra ammo. But now you can also do here, and you'll have four slots that you can fill the ammo slots with, as well as your backpack space. If you're going to do this, I highly recommend you get the rest of your armor on. So whatever armor you have. So you can get the arms there, even though they're pink. Put them on there, give us a bit more armor. So that that's kind of what you want to do. Now I'm going to put this stuff back because I don't want to. No, I don't need it at the moment. But that's where you can buy and sell stuff. Is the terminal here? Uh, stuff that you've you know got from loot runs. You can also buy ship upgrades here. Um, and the last thing I suppose I'll show you is if you want to buy weapons. So center mass and new babbage is where you get weapons. Now, don't just go buying any weapon that you think it looks cool, um, because there will be size differences between uh, your ship and what you can mount on it, so look at that, cool. So you go over to the terminal here. Now for example, I know mine takes has size 3 gimbals, size 2 gimbals, so I can have a size 3 weapon. So you can see if you click on it, it says size 1 there. So there's different ones for different ships, and there's laser repeaters, normal repeaters, guns, missiles and you can buy them all here so if I go vehicle weapons and then missiles you can buy missiles for your ship or you can go turrets and you can buy the mounts for the turrets that you need so all that stuff is here but like I said don't go buying random stuff until you know what you're doing um, have a look at a guide on what's the best setup for your ship depending on what you want to do with it no point buying upgraded shields and upgraded weapons if you're going to be a miner um, or if you're going to you know do deliveries or something like that so yeah so you can see this place is crazy absolutely beautiful um, trade development mission and exit so um, this is basically kind of the basics, very very basics of, you know, what to f start doing to get into the game. Loot running is amazing. All I would say is if you're going to do it, don't be a dick. Don't, you know, if you see a ship that's already there, don't shoot it. Don't blow people up. You know, always, um, always trying to remember, like, the more people that play the game, the more fun it's going to be. And if you put people off the game, and you will, if you grief them or annoy them, you know, that's, uh, that's fine. If you're going to be a pirate, no problem with that at all. Uh, being a pirate is fine. I was a pirate myself and Eve. Um, but, you know, you're not going to make much money from a starter ship um, or from someone who's just started. So, yeah. So, Omega Pro. What's that do again? Is, is that, um. I forget what this place does, actually. What was it? Sh is it item upgrades for your ship? Oh, it's paint and stuff. Oh, okay. Oh, and you can also get um, items for your ship. I didn't even know that, to be honest. Uh, with the flash freeze, lightning power makes sure that no matter how like, you can rely on it. Okay. Yeah, you can buy like storage and different things for your ship. That's cool. With paints. So there you go. Every day is a school day. So there you go. We want to buy paints for your ship. That's where you go. back around we should come to the other one so there's cafes and stuff you're gonna see um, you know if you need uh, you can see bottom left of my screen there you, if you need drink or food that's where you can get it then we're back down to where we started so we can go back around here to the, the commons It'll have loads of restaurants and shops and stuff It's all very new agey crap, but um, but yeah, if you need coffee or whatever, you can just walk up here, buy some prime, quick buy, and then you hold down left click to drink. If it would let me. Oh, you have to remove your so that's one thing as well I should have said. If you want to drink or eat, you have to remove your helmet. So, and then you can drink. Yeah, see, but I'm left my thirst icon starts going back up to 100%. There you go. 
Oh, and now I'll throw the boss on the ground like a hooligan. There you go. Someone else pick it up. It's not my problem. I'm a millennial. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you want to go back to your ship, then you're looking for the looking for the transit. So you'll see it here, transit. And then you have to go back down t to the metro, and then take that back to the spaceport. Spaceport. Then you're back here. So yeah, I don't know whether I put this tutorial up. To be honest, it was more meant to be kind of showing the loot runs, but it didn't really work out great. So. Hope was helpful, and uh, my videos will get better. Promise. <laughs>